Hello, welcome to more Super Mario Maker. Okay, this time we're gonna uh, train to improve skill two. Okay, hopefully this isn't like harder than one. Uh, like, like I have to be at least as good to beat the first one to be able to do this one. Okay, first order business, spring hop. Oh yeah, oh man. No, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually not super good at those. Uh, I knew I'd get it after a few tries. What am I supposed to do here? Is something gonna come out of this pipe? All right, cool. Oh no, okay, here's where the true test begins. Ugh. Man, yeah, if this starts getting ridiculous, we'll, we'll not. Okay, so am I supposed to, ugh. Ugh, there we go. Uh, okay, fair enough, I know what. Okay, so this is just, if I fall, then I can go in the door and it takes me back here. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so yeah, like I said, if this starts to get ridiculous, uh, we'll move on to something else. I do just want to give it a shot, though. Okay, grunting is not helping. Oh, come on, man. Oh, man, how many do I have to do? Four? Ugh. Well, the problem is that if you, um, you almost don't want to be pressed up against the wall because then you can't, uh, like, build any momentum. But there we go. Oh, damn it. Oh, man, I... Nah. <laughs> okay, we'll try a few more times. The problem is that if I try too many times, I'll start to get invested. And then once you're invested, that's it. Now you have to do it, you know? <laughs> um. Okay, so probably eat the pow, spit out the pow, and then... Uh. Okay. And then, okay, fair enough. What was, I feel like that should have been first. I feel like like the P-Switch jump was like way harder. Oh no, bomb hop, no. Okay. I think it'll like make this easier in Mario Maker 2, I wonder. I mean, that, I mean, that wasn't really that hard, but I've seen like, uh, Z. Oh, I have to uh, go like this, right? Like when I get to the top, I'm gonna still need the spring, uh, maybe. It's not hard, but it is easy to, oops. It's easy to knock it in the wrong direction when, uh, when the, like, the, when the stakes are high, when you've done a bunch of other, like, bullshit. Oh, man. Did you see that re-grab in midair? Ugh. But, uh, okay, what was I saying a second ago? Yeah, I see, I already forgot. God damn. I actually don't even 100% know the inputs. I'm just kind of button, like, I generally know what buttons to hit, so... Oh, the square means, okay, so I have to drop the pow and then stand on it. Oh, jeez, okay, I didn't know that spring was there. Okay, got it on the first try there. All right, cool. Okay, what was the point of that? But when you're playing, like, an intense level where, like, the stakes are high and whatnot, then it's, um, it's, uh, you know, it's easy to F it up. What's the point of this one single block here? I can't even break it, all right. Okay. Uh, spring, uh, not spring hop, uh, shell jump, which, oh my gosh, I did it on the first try. <laughs> oh man, I'm not getting, I, like, when, when, when you watch, let, when you watch people play Mario Maker and they say they're not good at shell jumps, like, I, like, that's like a whole nother level of not being good. Like, that's like a level up higher. Like, when I say I'm not good at shell jumps, I've done, like, six total you know, like I'm super not good. I haven't even practiced them hardly at all. So that was pure luck that I got on the first try. Okay, so I have to throw it at the munchers, apparently. I have to hit them with it. There's nothing for the uh, pow to connect with. All right, fair enough. But then what do I do with that one? Oh, I have to throw it up to the other side of the, um, like the other side of the one way counts as, a, as a, what the hell? Huh. The, um... Yeah, it's weird. Sometimes you only destroy, like, one layer of an enemy instead of all the layers. God damn. Do I have to hit the... Do I have to hit the top one? Because I think I hit the small bottom one that time. Yeah. Oops. I... I forgot to push up. I was a little bit too late on the up press. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay. I have... I don't know why that is. If you hit the bottom one, it kills a layer, but if you kill the top one, it kills the one under it too, which seems like 
the opposite would be true. Oh, okay. So I have to let it go a little bit earlier. Uh, so it has time to hit the thing before I get in the in the path of the dudes. Uh, now what? Oh. Okay, throw it to the left, okay. I mean, I feel like a peep door would have helped, but... You know. It's not, I mean, I don't know. It would have helped, but at the same time, there's no way I would expect the, the creator to, to do that. Okay, so now we got small bombs. Oh man, I did it. What was the point of those two coins? I don't know, I did it, all right, cool. Yeah, I need, um, that's the kind of level that I need to play uh, to get good. Oh man, we are definitely gonna get good when Mario Maker 2 comes out. I know I, I know I said that with a sigh, but I'm just thinking. Uh, I am looking forward to it. I'm just, I'm just tired, and also at the same time, I do know that um, in order to get good, you have to fail a lot. So I was just thinking about that, you know, like the, the practice that it takes involves effing stuff up a lot before you finally get it. But that's fine. Yeah, I don't mind replaying uh, stuff over and over again. Actually, one time. A couple years ago, I was chatting with my uh, roommate. I was playing. Uh, okay, this time we're gonna do this one, I guess. Oh wait, no, this is the one I. Is this the one I tried? This is the one I tried. That was like bullshit, isn't it? Yeah. By the way, yeah, I know it was a couple episodes ago, or maybe it was last episode. I know I spent way too long trying to figure this out. Well, I thought that I would like accidentally figure it out, but then I looked back at the footage and I was like, I was like, man, I I should have gave up on that one like sooner. There's like nothing happening. Uh, speed run. Oh, great. Hmm. Actually, I don't remember how much I cut out. Maybe I did cut out enough to where it wasn't that bad. Uh, Super Mario Maker 2. What? That's not what game this is. Uh, so throw that that way. And then you have to... Okay. I have to, uh, when you... When you, um... Oh, it just destroys it. Okay. Oh, I have to... Okay. I have to throw it to the right, and then... There we go. Oh, then... Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. This might be hard. <laughs> I mean, I like how they're giving you, like, the tracks to, like, help you, but at the same time... Oh, damn it. Yeah, you can slide under it. When you hit a note block, it, like, shifts for, like, a split second. You have a small window. Oops. Hey, will you throw the, the thing, please? Oh, you don't even have to duck. All right. Oh, lame. I forgot to hit uh, Z. All right. Could they... In Mario Maker 2, they should make it so you can press A to spin jump. Right? How come you can't spin jump with A, man? I mean, I know they did make some changes with it. But it's like... It's supposed to be like Super Mario World. So it's like... But we all played this as a kid, so as a kid, you hit A to spin jump, so why would they not have it be in in Super Mario World in Mario Maker, which is based off of Super Mario World? You'd think you'd have all the shit be the same, right? Or at least close? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this level, by the way. So you just have to use your invincibility frames, I guess? Okay, you do have enough. Well, I didn't know what the frick to do, man! Alright. I don't know, it's a speedrun course. I didn't even see what the timer was. But if it's going to be like 50 seconds of restarting it and doing everything, like learning. I mean, we're only we're like a third of the way done. I don't know. I just don't want to spend a lot of time on that one. Uh, pow jump, okay. Right, let's try this one. But I'm, I mean, I mean, I get it. I feel like that would be better for like a stream. Where you have four hours to play one level or whatever till you get it right. Okay, so I was supposed to... Alright, fine, fair enough. But yeah, there's people that are like super good at Mario Maker that... Um, they play, or they play like... They're good at like Mario World or whatever. They play like ROM hacks and they'll spend like hours and hours on one level. And then they'll cut it down to like a half hour for the YouTube video. <laughs> and then I always watch the YouTube video of it. <laughs> Okay, so just run and jump. Well, I keep jumping when it's like falling, so it keeps like eating my input. Because when it falls when I'm on it, 
it like lifts me off the ground a little bit, and then if I jump at that moment, uh, it doesn't count. There we go. Um. Oh man, this is a level. Somebody's brain came up with this one. It co it continually like blows my mind how um with some of these levels. Like I oh, just put a bunch of pows in a long jump and call it a day. Yeah, that's good level design, right? F this level, man. I'm done. I'm out. Come on, man. You gotta make your levels, like, not that. I don't know how... <laughs> I know it's a super eloquent way of saying it, but come on, dude. Jeez. Uh, Munch and Punch? Don't mind if I do. Did you ever play the Munchables? Boy, I had high hope for that. Uh, high hopes for that game. Well, I thought there was, like, you grow bigger. It's like Katamari Damacy. And I was like, hey, I love the shit out of Katamari Damacy. So I played it, and I'm like... Oh, this is actually incredibly stupid. Oh man, I don't know how I made all those jumps. I didn't even know uh, Little Mac was uh, the sprite or, was or whatever was in this. Oh man, I... Okay, fair enough. I can do this. A lot of it's uh, automatic. I just didn't hold... I, I just didn't do a big boy jump. Well, I sort of thought that the... Um, I thought the shelmet was... Oops. I thought the shelmet was... Okay. <laughs> I thought the shelmet was going to go on my head. I didn't know I was going to kick it. And then it was going to land in the perfect place for me to bounce off it. I thought I was going to have to do like a like a, uh, like a a skill jump. Oh, great. Now I'm not going to be able to make these jumps. I don't know. How, like I said, I don't know how the hell I did it the first time. Dude. Okay. Well, maybe the timer's not super tight. Maybe you can get hit and still do it. The only reason I was quitting when I got hit is because if the timer's super tight, then it doesn't matter. If you get hit, you won't be able to make it to the end in time. But sometimes the timer's generous enough to where uh, you can get hit and still make it. Okay, shoo. I got hit, but I didn't lose any speed. That's why I kept going that time. All right, fair enough. Okay, let's start that level. Okay, next up we have Super Naso Naso Bros. Um, seven three lots of okay. By Naseto BG. Whenever someone has a name like that, I'm always like, are they like super famous? And I just don't know it. What the hell flag is that? I don't think I've ever seen that flag. It's like the opposite of the uh, the Red Cross one, where like the the background is red instead of the cross. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I'm terrible with country uh country flags. Oh my gosh, okay. Yes, the conveyor belts mess with your momentum. Alright, so this is supposed to be based on 7-3. I remember these, th these three blocks are like familiar to 7-3, right? I think, right? That's how it starts. But this is the one with the, uh, with the, like, the dark black sky or whatever. Or the dark sky that's black. Yes, I know dark is black, so it's, like, redundant <laughs> to say dark black. Okay, so we have unlimited fire flowers. I don't remember that being a thing. Well, why would, if they give you a fire flower, why would you want... Man, it actually lets you... Boy, you know what? I grabbed that because I didn't think it... I didn't think it would let you downgrade. You actually downgrade when you, um... Collect a, a costume shroom or whatever they're called. Okay. Boy. Remember, I guess it was like a super long time ago. It was in one of the earlier episodes. There was, um... Oh, jeez. Alright. There was a level... It was a new soup level that I played. I forget what episode it was. I'm pretty sure I had the word muncher in it. In the title. But, um... Oh, fuck. But that one muncher... Oh, my gosh. But for some reason, munchers coming out of the pipes, like, creep me out a little bit. And I think the reason is... I think I went into detail. I don't know. I just had, like, this weird phobia of, like, things coming out of things. But only, like, sometimes. I don't know if there's a word for it, but... Oh, gee. Oh, come on, man. Oh, yeah. Of course there was one in that final one. Like, the piranha plants I don't mind, but for some reason, like, the munchers are a thing. Like, that kind of, like, triggers it, like, a little bit. I think it could be because even if you defeat a muncher, another one comes out. So there's, like, you can never... Oh, man. 
This part's actually kind of hard. Let me see if there's, uh, is there like a mushroom or something to like, hey, help me out, yo. Come on, level creator, where's your dev power-ups? All right, so I go back and get it, I guess, that's fine. Don't have to go back that far, just like a screen length. But there was a, um, there was a new soup level where you had to like wall jump up a bunch of stacks of pipes. Yeah, no, I'm just damage boosting. There was like stacks of pipes horizontally that you have to, um, jump up. And then there's like munchers coming out of them all the time. And I made the comment that, dude, of course that pussy Lana right there. Oh, come on, man. Let's just go. Oh, let's go. All right. That was nice how they put the spring there so you get the one up if it was a hundred Mario. But, um, but yeah, even if you defeat, even if you use a pow and kill them, another one just pops out. The fact that they pop out like infinitely, uh, I think is what is what did it for me. I don't know. Okay, next we have uh, Mario, uh, probably Mario's vacation in the desert, I'm guessing. I don't know. But um, yeah, as I was saying a second ago, yeah, it's kind of, it sounds kind of silly when you, the the thing with phobias is that like, you ha like, it's, I think by definition, it's like an irrational fear. So when people say they have like a fear of like skydiving or, or dying from falling of, you know, or fear of spiders or whatever, I almost don't feel like those are irrational. I mean, like, things that can kill you, yes, you should be afraid of those. That, you know. So when you have, like, a weird phobia of something that can't actually harm you, it, um, like, it sounds, uh, I was just thinking, like, it sounds weird to say, to, you know, for me to, like, I mean, I don't mind admitting that I have a, a goofy phobia, but the thing is that, like, when you vocalize it, you're like, huh, that sounds really weird when you say it out loud. It sounds like, uh... It sounds like you're a big fucking pussy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but... Oh man, underwater? Why is there an under... Is this it, is it supposed to represent like an oasis or something? But yeah, people that have like weird phobias, when you actually say out loud what it is, you're like, huh, it actually... It actually just... It just sounds like... It's like, why would you be afraid of that? What the hell, you know? But that's why it's called a phobia, because it's irrational. It, it's not supposed to make sense, you know? It's the whole idea. That's why it's a phobia. Okay, pick a pick a jam. All right, well, it's one way, but there's keys, and they're all one way. Man, I don't know which way to go. This one has many arrows, and the, and the level hasn't betrayed my trust yet. So, oh, plus the other ones that the arrows are pointing the other way, right? Okay, this is the kind of donut situation I can handle, unlike the other one in the other level, which fuck that level, by the way. That level was... Just... Oh man, I almost had to censor myself. That level was not good. I did actually have to... Um, I played a game with with um, my old roommate. I, I played Pilot Wings. Man, I gotta edit all those videos. I got the whole game made. I just haven't edited any of the videos. But uh, yeah, I actually had to... I actually had to... Uh... Oh, it's, there's an in, any and an Audi. Okay, jeez. Yeah, it shows you how much I pay attention. Yeah, I actually had to, uh, I actually had to download, like, a sensor beep for me to, like, insert into, uh, into my videos in case I say it bad. You know, I never noticed you can hold up and you can actually float, like, up faster. I don't think I ever noticed that. Well, goddamn, I thought there was gonna be... Oh, I can go like this. Nope. Wait, why can't I... Well, I thought there was red coins and all the other ones. I thought there'd be, like, a, the final red coin, like, over there. Oh man, ye olde soft lock. Great job, dude. I do like how they're trying to simulate like a desert. I do like the aesthetic of this. And this is supposed to be like the soft sand that you can like dig through in like Mario 2, I guess, maybe. Or you know, it's supposed to be something close to that. There's no reason to go up there, I don't think, right? Actually, don't even remember which way I went. I'm pretty sure it was just to the right, right? Do I have to go into the pipe? What if I don't want to go into the pipe? Okay, I can choose death or I can choose pipe. All right. Oh, lame, come on. Ugh. Oh, level creator. We need to have a talk. You need to, uh, like, not do that. Uh, please. Man, you, could you have made the, the cactus, like, one, one thing higher so you don't have to die right away? 
Uh, but then again, if it's the if it's supposed to be like a wild environment, why would the cactus be at the height that I want it to be at? You know, right? Uh, speaking of weird phobias, yeah, my <laughs> I guess my other weird phobia is um, is I, I have a fear of cactus. Which again, oh my, oh, it's over here. I didn't even notice all this shit over here. Which I know, yeah, that's a that's a weird one too. I think I went into detail about about the about the whys and whatnot. And yeah, it's it's kind of absurd. It's not. It fits under the category of, or it fits in the category of being an irrational fear. I would say. But yeah, for the longest time, um, there like wasn't a word for it. And then at one point, I forget what happened, but like. Oh, I thought I bounced off it. It didn't do anything. But... Okay, so we got that one. Okay, so we should have all the red coins we need now, right? I hope. There's nothing all along the bottom of that, right? No? Okay. But I mentioned I mentioned on like a YouTube comment or something or like a Facebook comment or something. I was like, yeah, I have a phobia that there's not a word for. And then somebody corrected me. They're like, um, actually, it's called this. Okay, I'm like, okay, well, I looked up... I looked it up like a decade ago and there wasn't a word for it. So somewhere in that time span, the word was invented and then somebody took it upon themselves to to look it up for me just so they can correct me. I'm like, god damn it. Son of a bitch. Can you imagine having like no, like, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to say no life to where that's the kind of thing you do. Like, like if somebody says that I have a, that there's no word for my phobia, why not just take their word for it? Like, why would you want to prove someone wrong so badly. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he was just curious and wanted to inform me. But at the same, like, I was just like, come on, really? Oh, speaking of which, yeah, the weather's starting to get a bit nicer. I mean, I know it's not nice. Um, well, today it wasn't nice where I live. It was like 36 at like 1130. I'm like, God damn, I thought I was done with the heat. Like, I turned the heat all the way off and I, in my brain, I was like, I was like, okay, this is the last time we're using the heat for this year or whatever. No heat till winter, you know. Just kind of saying, like, the next time I turn on the heat, I'm going to be... It's, it's going to be, like, six months from now. And a couple days later, I fucking had to turn it on again. I'm like, goddamn. Okay, I could have possibly have gone down that pipe. Would that have led to somewhere, I wonder? Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is an up thing. Okay, hold on. There was, like, munchers. They're not going to follow me, are they? They are. Okay, so I got to stand right in the middle. Do I even want to? Because my ability... My ability to, like, jump, like, off this platform... Oh, I have to... Okay, there was enough room to make that jump. Alright. Yeah, if that would have been a block or two higher, that would have been, like, a hard jump. Because you have to jump up and then to the side. You can't do, like, a... Like a, like a moving jump or whatever. Okay, I could jump over that cactus if I really wanted to. Probably won't have to. I can't see where I'm landing, so let's just uh, fall and go this way. Uh, but what I was going to say a minute ago is that, like, the weather's nice, so I'm starting to see, um, like, just people just, like, walking. Like, just going on walks. And then, and I'm sitting here, I saw it, and I'm just like, you know what? People that play video games get a lot of flack. You're like, oh, you have no life. You just sit there and hold a controller and look at a screen and play a video game. And I'm like, yeah, but there are people out there who are considered normal that that just walk that just go on walks like they literally just put on their clothes put on their shoes and just walk out of their house and just walk on a sidewalk and just like walk in like a big rectangle and then they arrive back at their own house and then they take off their shoes and they go okay i did it i went for a walk and i'm like and, and for my you know from my perspective, I'm just like, I'm like, god damn, dude, like, why would you, I mean, I don't know, I guess I'm just indoorsy, I guess I just don't get it. Like, the concept of just going on a walk. It's like, if you want fresh, oh, god damn, why would you do that, game? <laughs> um, it's right at the start, so it's fine. But, like, if you want fresh air, just open a window. Hmm, I think... I think I saw somebody play this. Oh, I think I saw DGR play this. Which means that, um... It was either this level or it was... It might have been this level. There was another level that was kind of like this. that had, like, a wiggler. And you had to, like, throw a P-switch in the space to the right of the spring. 
so that the wiggler will like cross the gap or whatever and go somewhere else and clear the path. I was like, why can't I go further to the right? Because it's past the flagpole. All right, fair enough. But yeah, everyone's like, oh, gamers, people have no life. I'm like, yeah, but getting up and putting clothes on and like walking around in a giant rectangle just to wind up where you started, which accomplishes nothing. I mean, you did get exercise, I guess. But it's like you can exercise in your house, I guess. I don't know. I guess I guess I do understand like the exercise part. If you want to get like a walking exercise in or whatever. Um, there's not even like a P switch to hit, so. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. I was about to say, maybe if I push nothing, it works. Nope. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, at least there's like, at least it's like simple. But yeah, I give up. I have no idea. But I guess my overall point that I keep alluding to but not ever making is that if you're going to like, I mean, I guess the people, these, these people that say that gamers have no life like that per like the people i see on walks are not necessarily the same people that say that gamers don't have a life but i'm just saying that people that go around saying that various groups of people don't have lives need to include the walkers <laughs> is is what was what i was getting at i guess so i wasn't trying to be like oh the people that are walkers are hypocrites it's like well not all i like i don't know if those are the people that i mean some of them probably are are the, pe are the people that say that gamers have no lives, but if you really break it down, what you do with your with your spare time, I mean, I think I've said this before, everybody does things that other people think is like a waste of time, and if you do it, it must mean you have no life. Boy, I was not expecting to make that. Well, I was trying to be in a hurry, you know. Man, I don't know about this level, man. I don't know if I can make that jump again. Oh, I don't even need to jump off the... Okay, fine. Well, I guess that makes it a bit easier, I suppose. What? Okay, well, let's just make the same jump a bunch of times, but with different sprites that you're jumping over. <laughs> am I gonna have... Okay. I was, about to have... I was about to say, like, am I gonna have enough time to, like, jump? Assuming it puts me right under it, but I forgot that it can, it can actually dump you right on top of it, too. All right, I had, what, one second left? I mean... You can't lose any speed. You have to do it, like, perfectly, or pretty close to perfectly, but at the same time, it's short, and it's not that hard, and I was able to do it quickly, so you get a star, Mr. Billy. Oh, man, look at this hot garbage down here. Oh, my gosh. Come on, we gotta, we gotta try it, right? Let's at least see how garbagey it is. If it's ridiculous, uh, we'll skip it, but I, I saw, like, the thumbnail. I was like, dude, we gotta try it at least once. Oh, man. It's made by, like, an upset Japanese person. Those are not the kinds of people you want making your levels. We need people in a good mood so they make good, happy levels. When people are, like... When people are... Like, I don't know, people tend to, like... They're like, well, I'm miserable, so I'm gonna make a shitty level and make other people miserable. I don't know. It's totally backed by science, by the way. Okay, I guess the good news is that there's nothing that can kill me. Uh, yet, I suppose. Oh, man. Was there, like, a hidden block that lets you go on top of the maze and skip the whole thing? Oh, you tricked me. Oh, no. You got me. Oh, man. I'm sure I'm having fun. Wow. How long is this? Okay, this part ain't bad. Yeah, it just, it never ceases to amaze me. At least he didn't soft lock me right there. Oh, would it be shitty if there was like a sub world? <laughs> that was exact, that was like the same length, like the entire length of the map. Or the, what do you call it, the space that you can put shit in. Oh my gosh, how long is this? Oh no. What if the, uh, what if the green area was only like a quarter of the way. Okay, never mind. Shoot. Oh, man. 
I don't know why the hell I played this. I was just intrigued by the thumbnail, but at the same time, it's like, well, what the hell did I expect would happen? <laughs> uh, I'm not starting that level. F that, man. Come on, dude. I mean, at least there wasn't... I mean, I was about to say, at least you didn't block me in, but it's like you got wall jumps, so there would, wouldn't have been any way to block you in. Yeah, I'm sorry your life sucks, dude. But at the same time, come on, dude. Uh, Frozen, let it go. Oh, this is a uh, probably musical level. Okay, I didn't realize that at the time. Huh? Is that supposed to be like a cat girl? Um, uh, a cat girl? Uh, me or whatever? Those, are those supposed to be cat ears, or is that just spiky hair? I can't tell. Here I go. Okay, is this? Okay, I actually have to run. All right. Why well, didn't know if it was like auto? Sometimes if you uh, move, you f it up. Here I go. Um, okay. Yeah, I actually don't know that, um, the, the song, other than the one chorus that everybody, uh, like, the part that everybody sings or whatever. Alright. Yeah, I've actually never seen, uh, Frozen. I've heard a lot of people say it's good. i just never seen it. Oh my gosh. Actually, the first time, I thought that it was a mushroom, apparently. So I was anticipating... Are you supposed to have to, like, get hit there? Oh, jeez. I was anticipating that I was going to grab the mushroom, then I was going to have to jump off the, uh, the muncher. Here I go. Okay. Okay, so just hold the button, I guess. I almost want to say I saw somebody else play this one, too. Uh, you got to time it perfectly, of course. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I'm not a super big fan of music levels, but I kind of don't like it when it's like, when you like when you play a music level, the idea is that you like you enjoy the music. But if you also, if there's also like a level where you're gonna be like dying a bunch of times, then it's like, well, what like I have to hear like the first ten seconds of the song fifty times, followed by dying, you know, and it's like, well. And you can't really even enjoy it because you're trying to not die. Yeah, I, I don't. I mean, I could probably do that one, but at the same time, F it. I'm not super intrigued by that level. Let's um, let's do one more. Why are you lose gold mine? Is that the uh the Japanese pronunciation? Oh man, three percent. We'll save that one for later since uh that one has uh, a low clear rate. Oh wait, is this the same guy as before, Mr. Patrice? Okay, I don't remember. What was his other level? Did I like it? Um. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. Uh, this one I have no idea what it what it could mean. And I'm dead. All right. Uh, I'm guessing I'm supposed to stand still and jump. I'm guessing if I'm standing still that I'm in like the. Oh. Okay, well, why'd they put the spring there if you weren't supposed to jump into it? Okay, I tried to do a tiny hop. Do I have to pull back to the left and then go to the right? What the hell? Okay, I made the jump too well, I guess. I was too on the edge of that jump. Dude, come on, man. Is it a big jump or is it not a big jump? What am I supposed to do with the freaking shell? Was I supposed to put it on? Oh, jeez. Oh, man, yes. Put the sound effects in. Totally makes your level better. You need all the sounds. Your level's not a real level if it doesn't have uh, the, the burdens and whatnot. Okay, so is the is the shelmet supposed to be to give me a hit? If if that's the case, why didn't it just give me a mushroom? See, that's what kind of makes me think that it's not that I'm supposed to like do something with it. Oh, I forgot you can't you can't put it on in midair. All right, fair enough. We'll try a few more times. I don't know. The levels where you just die repeatedly, I'm not 
a super like crazy big fan of actually I gotta mind dying over and over again well, I guess the the other point that I was gonna say a long time ago that I didn't get to is that I know it it looks like I'm counter contradicting myself but I I was like I, I don't mind um, this was like 10 minutes ago by the way but I made the point that um, I don't necessarily mind like replaying stuff over and over again uh, cuz come on dude why jeez but I was chatting with my roommate. I was playing Pilot Wings, and uh, we we chatted for like 20 minutes. And meanwhile, I was uh, doing the skydiving event, which is really freaking hard. And I was just I like I was just dying on like the same level over and over again. And he made the comment. He was like, "Dude, like we've been talking for like 20 minutes. You've just been doing this one thing over and over again." I was like, "Yeah, I'm just practicing uh, practicing skydiving. I guess you have to like the game to be willing to do it. And I do like this game, but I just don't like this level. Oh man." All the spikes really necessary. Do you need the spikes underneath the spikes? You only need one layer of spikes, dude. Come on, I fucking hate that guy. Jeez. Oh, man. I've died like three times to that one guy. Dude. He's like positioned to be at the right edge of the block. And then when you try to make the jump, you're kind of on the left side. Because it's a long jump or whatever. So he's like positioned to like hit you. Okay, somehow I made it here with my... Okay, we're done. Jeez. Somehow I made it there with the Shelmet. Before I was, like, hitting the... I was, like, clunking the dude into the other guy. And then I would get hit. I don't know. I feel like I, like, got lucky. I feel like, uh, like I should have taken a hit. But for some reason I didn't. But, I don't know. Maybe it just happened fast. I didn't see it. What the hell is this? Sorry, I am so busy. Goodbye, my friends. What does that mean? Is this like a, is this like a person who has a YouTube channel? It's like his last level or something. S R I Cindy. I feel like I've seen that name before. Or it's S R and then it's like a line. So you probably gotta time this like a hundred percent perfectly, right? Maybe not. I can make it up two pipes sometimes. I didn't see how many ups and downs it has. Wouldn't it be wacky? Like, you actually have to do it perfectly. Wow, I actually almost made it. Oh, you know what that means. <laughs> oh, look how many X's were right at the end. Oh my gosh, I fucking did it. I'm pretty sure I had zero seconds left. Or zero Mario time units. Oh man, that was close. I didn't think I was going to make it. And that was on the second try, too. Okay, that's it. That's it. We got to stop. I can't keep looking at thumbnails. It's, I'm just going to want to keep playing. Okay, so that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, thanks, as always, for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave me a like uh, if you like this video. And subscribe if you're new. And we will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.